Good evening. I'm in the, what I disrespectively call the Neptune Hotel here in Cork, because I don't think it's a great place, but that's neither here nor there. The Neptune is a name of disrespect. It's actually called the Metropole, but that's neither here nor there. I uh, just wishing to let you know that I've probably been fired, fired from the whole of Cork. I'm afraid I blew my top in that uh, the haven this evening uh, with the hope for the homeless people and the immediate cause was the fact that one of the volunteers wouldn't give me a plastic bag, a little size of a bun bag, because you're not allowed to have any. And they throw out so much food and there's so much waste and they won't give you a penny bag. And it was a new volunteer and I've been going berserk there all evening because there are so many rules and regulations now that have nothing to do with hope for the homeless. And I mean hope for the homeless. And the place isn't about the hope for the homeless anymore. It's about the volunteers and rules and regulations that nobody bloody observes. And I haven't been observing for a long time because nobody else did. And for a long time I was a, a I was a, uh, for a long time I was a, a volunteer actually working until I started noticing that a lot of the volunteers were sitting down talking, the ones that meant to be working with me. And then I started noticing that anybody that talked to Gillian the last time is the expert, so everything he, that person says is what goes. And now there's rule this and rule that, and it's no basis in reality. And of course, it doesn't help that I was once in the very high end of the catering business, so I know a hell of a lot. But anybody that came in yesterday will be listened to first because, well, they're an expert, which is fair enough. Anyway, um, I'm afraid I went berserk. I did apologize to everybody uh, as I was leaving. And I do understand that there is video footage because the Haven must have um, uh, cameras up in the ceilings like they all do for insurance purposes. So you can ask to look at what happened. But understand, it wasn't just what happened this evening. It's a build-up of incompetence, of lack of interest, of not understanding that people don't need to be treated as prisoners and made to feel small, even though you're being generous. One of the girls tonight on the service as she did on numerous occasions, tells me they must take what they're given, even though they throw it back. Throw it back. Because they don't want food. They don't know. Sweet potatoes. I don't know that anyone ate them tonight. Broccoli, they might have. Asparagus, no. Sweet corn, no. Oh, I just don't know. It's, it's incredible. The stupidity of waste, incompetence, and worse still, being a volunteer, because you can't be fired. And if you're a Christian volunteer, well, it's even worse. I'm not a Christian volunteer. I'm a humanitarian volunteer. So I expect that uh, I'll be fired. I may actually, by every Christian organization here, and I may well be uh, have to present my passport at Mallow when I'm coming back to Cork. Entrance to Cork, Mallow. Or even worse, Charleville. They mightn't let me back to Cork at all. But I'm not going back. I am not going back. And I refuse to work in anywhere 